Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm here with Nadine. And we're gonna show you how to get straight weave into like a deep wave hairstyle. So, it's vital that you start off with really clean, detangled hair. If it's dirty or tangly, you know, it will be so difficult to work with. Then, you're gonna wanna section the hair off. I would say section it into about six sections. I'm gonna be using the Lee Stafford Chopstick Styler. I'll leave all the information down in the information box. So take the tool and just wrap the hair around it clockwise. Be careful, the tool is really hot and I've burnt myself like 20 times. Hold it on the hair for about 10 seconds and then shake the wand to let the hair loose. If you try and unwrap the hair, the curl will fall and not come out nicely. So you can see I shake the hair off the tool, not unwrap it. So just go slowly and wrap the hair around. Like you really don't need to put it on for too long. It's quite straightforward. I'm going to be doing the whole head like this. So I'm not going to change the direction of the curls. I'm just going to keep going clockwise. So I've basically finished half the head and this is what it looks like. Now I'm going to do the front. When I get to the top, I start as close to the root of the closure as possible so that the curl can start as close to the root and look as natural as possible. So this is the hair all curled. We're not going to keep it like this, but some people, I don't know, maybe you like it like this, but no, we're going to finger the curls out. So just take each curl and split them, and then run your fingers through the hair a bit, so that the hair gets more volume. The more you finger the hair out, the more volume you'll get. So if you want really voluminous hair, you finger it out a lot, or you can even brush it. But if you don't want your hair so voluminous, or you want the curls to be a bit more defined, you don't have to finger it out that much, just split the curls really. So this is the final look, I mean I love this. Because this is a wig, we can move it to the side. I mean I like this wig either, middle or side, I think they both look great. So that's why it's actually great to wear wigs, because it's so versatile. Now if you want to go for that Diana Ross big, big, big curly hair, just brush it out, just keep brushing, brushing, brushing and use a serum to kind of, you know, give the hair a bit more sheen but just brush it out and it will become really big and really diva-ish this is perfect for like a glam fall look especially as it's coming to winter so this is basically it I mean, I hope this tutorial helped it's just a quick easy way if you don't want to spend money on hair you don't want to buy new hair but you're fed up with the hair you already have just use this technique and create a new look so guys, this is the final look. I mean, it was so easy to transform this hair. And what do you guys think? I personally love it, because it's quick, simple, it's cheap, and you just get a different look with the hair. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned.